Welcome back to Cypress Academy Wicked Wi-Fi. In this video, I will show you the TCP IP socket, often referred to just as sockets. Sockets are the fundamental method of communication on the internet. They are the plumbing of the entire internet. A socket is simply a data pipe between a client and a server. Both the client and the server can put bytes in their side of the socket, and the bytes are guaranteed to come out the other side of the socket correctly and in the same order that they were put in. In other words, a client, probably your Wicked program, can open a socket to a server that exists probably in the cloud. Then they will have a bi-directional pipe all the way through the internet, which they can use to communicate. For you science fiction fans, you can think of it as a wormhole through the internet which magically connects two points. Every device on the internet has a unique IP address. In addition to the IP address, each device also has 65,536 logical ports. You can think of ports as numbered plugs on the device where connections can be made. With the combination of an IP address and a port number, you can uniquely identify all of the sockets on the internet. A socket is just two pairs of numbers, a server IP and port, and a client IP address and port. Most of the application protocols that you are familiar with on the internet already use sockets. You know, HTTP, DNS, SMTP, etc. You may not realize it yet, but I bet you already know some port numbers. For example, 80 is used by HTTP and 443 is used by secure HTTP servers. And port 25 is used by the SMTP servers. In fact, the Internet Engineering Task Force, or IETF, has a spec with a map of all of the well-known ports. This spec is important because clients need to know which port to connect to so that the communication makes sense. There's no technical reason why your HTTP server must run on port 80. In fact, you could run it on port 25. But if it does that, no one will actually know what port to connect to. Moreover, port 25 is assigned to SMTP. And if someone tries to open a socket to that port, it will find your HTTP server instead of the SMTP server it's expecting. When this happens, you will have total chaos, wrath of God type stuff, dogs and cats living together. Okay, that's Ghostbusters, sorry. Now, let me show you how this works. When I started working on this section, I knew that I needed a very simple socket-based protocol to demonstrate with. So I created the Wicked Wi-Fi example protocol. And because everything on the internet needs an abbreviation, I called it WWEP. The WWEP is very representative of many cloud protocols. My protocol is a simple database protocol. A WWEP client can open a socket connection to a WWEP server. Then it can write or read from the database that exists on the WWEP server. The WWEP database acts like a 256 location register file for each of 65,536 devices. Each location in the register file can hold a value all the way up to hex f f f f. Said more simply, the database has a 16-bit device ID, an 8-bit location ID, and a 16-bit value. A client can then read or write into the database by specifying the device ID, the location ID, and the value. To use the WWEP database, the client can send a command to the server of R for read or W for write, followed by the device ID, location, and optional value, all in hex ASCII strings. Then 
the WWEP database server will respond with an A for accepted, followed by the device ID, location ID, and value, or just with an X if the last transaction is rejected. For example, for a WWEP client to write the value hex 98AB to device ID 1234 in location EF, it would open up a socket, then send W1234EF09AB. The W means write. The 1234 means device ID 1234. The EF means register ID EF. And the 09AB is the value to save. The server would then respond with A1234EF09AB. The A means I accept your right to device 1234, register EF, and value 09AB. Then a client could read back the value by opening up a socket to the server and sending R1234EF, which would make the server respond with A1234EF09AB. In this case, the R means read, the 1234 means device ID 1234. The EF means register EF. The server's response of A means accepted. 1234 means device 1234. The EF means register EF. And the 09AB is the value that we previously wrote into that register. WWEP is a simple text-based protocol, but it works almost exactly like HTTP which is also a simple text-based protocol, which I will talk about in a lot of detail in chapter seven. In the next video, I will show you the Wicked APIs required to implement sockets. You can post your comments and questions in our Wi-Fi developer community, or as always, you're welcome to email me at alan underscore hawes at cypress.com or tweet me at askiotexpert. Thank you.